Where the smoke at? Who got that smoke? I'm looking for the smoke. Ain't that what the uh, Hebrew Israelite love to say? They don't want that smoke. I'm looking for the smoke. Been looking for the smoke. Galatians. Chapter 3. Verse 26. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed, and arrows according to the promise. According to the promise. We all know about the promise that God gave to Abraham and passed down to his sons. This right here ought to be enough to put y'all to bed. The Hebrew Israelites. That ought to be enough right here to put y'all to sleep. But of course, y'all refuse to take your sleeping pills, sleeping medicine. Y'all still go out there and push and operate behind that false teacher Bishop Nathaniel. Y'all go out there and still push a lot of their false, their false uh, beliefs. Y'all push a bishop's false teaching other than pushing the Bible and what was left on record for us through the apostles. Y'all rather go out there and, and push that false teaching which the Bible contra contradicts the stuff was good the stuff that Nathan and them priests were good for back then had nothing to do with us had nothing to do with anybody that came after Christ and that goes back thousands and thousands of years ago There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. This is where a lot of people get the scripture when they want to push women preachers. There was this this the scripture they all uh, go ahead and grab. There is neither male nor female. That ain't what the Bible saying about preachers. You can't use it and say this about women preachers. <laughs> but they'll, they'll go and get this quick. And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. This is what the Bible says. So they'll rather take the teachings of Bishop Nathaniel and everybody else in IUIC and all the other branches of the uh, Hebrew Israelite. They'll take their teaching over the Bible. Romans. They go to the book of Romans. We know what wrong. Italy, the saints being wrong. You go to Acts 2, 17 different nations, different tongues. They weren't Hebrew Israelites. 
they were what the Bible say they were different nature different nations different races different tongues however you want to describe they wasn't Hebrew Israelites they didn't all speak uh, the same language the men of Galilee spoke the same language but them people couldn't understand that's why the Holy Ghost filled every 17 different nations was able to hear the gospel being preached in their tongue because the Holy Ghost gave them other utterance the Holy Ghost allowed it let's go to Romans 8 17 let's start at verse 14 for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we are, we cry, Abba Father. Abba Father. Adoption. That's what we come in at. We was adopted into the body of Christ. After the Hebrew Israelite, you know the scripture say he went to his own, his own received them not. God already knew that was going to happen. It had to happen. Because God had already had a plan to save the entire the entire world again anyway. Verse 16, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God. And joint heirs with Christ. So if, if so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. I take the Bible. I believe Apostle Paul over any so-called bishop walking around in the earth today. Give me the Bible. It's funny how they want to believe the Bible, but only certain parts of the Bible. When you go to the New Testament and show them certain stuff, they don't want to believe that. Any other tongue, anybody else, any other race that wasn't Hebrew Israelites that came out of the 12 tribes were considered Gentiles. Anybody else. Paul was sent to the Gentile nation. Paul was a Hebrew Israelite. Can't get around this. They gonna still go out there and push those lies and being used by their false bishop in their false church. Salvation is only for the, the Hebrew Israelites. Nobody else can go to heaven. That's a lie. Y'all calling the Bible a lie. The Bible said we was all adopted. The gospel. Salvation is for everybody to hear the gospel and believe. Once you believe, then you become children of Christ. The Bible says the preaching of the gospel is foolish to them that perish needless. Anybody, everybody can become children of God as long as you hear the gospel 
and believe it. That's all you got to do. It don't matter who you are, where you at, where you came from. You, be, you can become a child of God. All you got to do is hear the gospel and believe. Don't let the, don't let the airheads out here. Oh, we talking about you don't want this smoke. It's funny how they love to say that. You don't want this smoke, but the only way they give people to smoke is if they go and gang up on folks. Ain't that, ain't that strange? They'll bring the smoke as long as they can gang up on people. They go out there in the streets and gang up on innocent people who really don't know the Bible. That they know they don't, don't know the Bible. So it makes them look good. They got there on the public. They got some in Memphis and in Tupelo. When I get a chance, I'm going to ride to them one day. Y'all don't want this, smoke. Jesus Christ was a black man. Jesus Christ was a black man. Jesus, uh, salvation is only for us, Israel. They don't, they don't have no idea what they are preaching. They are preaching complete foolishness that will pass down, that is being passed down to them from their foolish leaders. The gospel of exclusion. That's another damnable doctrine. I believe the Bible. The Bible say anybody can be saved and become sons of God. Daughters. Sons, daughters. If you hear the gospel and believe. The scripture just said there is neither Jew nor Greek. The apostles went to different nations. All of them read them. If salvation wasn't available to any other tongue, any other nation, then we wouldn't have all these books in the New Testament showing us that it is available. Let it show you how much of the Bible that they really know. Them, them cats on the street don't read the Bible. They're still out there telling people Jesus was a black man when the scriptures don't say it. You say he was white in bronze. Bronze is not black. It may be a dark skin tone complexion. But it still ain't black. And I showed those scriptures a little while ago where the Bible say he didn't have the DNA, the DNA of his people that God placed them in. His mother and his earthly father didn't have nothing to do with him being conceived. His body was already prepared when God placed him in the marriage. They have no vis they have no visibility of the Bible. They don't know what they're talking about. For all we know, Jesus could have been an albino. Jesus could have looked totally different from what them people looked like at that time. Totally different. We don't know. We weren't there. We can only go by the scriptures. And what they want to cling to is the, what the Bible says his feet was were, uh, like uh, fine brass, burnt in, brass is dark with a kind of um, 3D complexion type when it's polished fine brass. 
but that's not black. But the scripture do say he was white. His head was white. His hair was white. Now we got to go do more search searching. I'm not saying he was white. Like what we see. I'm just saying what the Bible say. See, like they want to skip over that and go down to his feet. But you have to start with the hair first. If the Bible says his head was white and his hair was white, you can't overlook that. The Bible never said black. Next thing it said, Joel said, my skin is black. And they try to go to other people in the Bible in the Old Testament and prove that Jesus was black. What does the scripture say about Jesus' skin tone? Color. I don't care about nobody else in the Bible. Everybody else had a blood line. That could be traced. Jesus would put it to them people, bloodline, because of the power of God. It don't mean he had their DNA. Everybody can receive salvation. Everybody. They hear the gospel and believe. That's what the apostles preach. That's what Apostle Paul preach. Him being a, a Hebrew Israelite himself. Why would he go out there and preach a lie? He would go out there and preach a lie. That means they try to, although a lot of people try to say Apostle Paul was a lie. He wasn't a lie. He was sent by God according to the scriptures. Y'all want to fight the Bible and put Pastor Paul at odds with the, with God. That's on y'all. I'm going, we, a lot of us going to stick with what the Bible say. We can't go wrong by sticking with this Bible. Then a lot of them got a remedy of it. Well, the New Testament was added so many centuries years ago. Just like they say the J wasn't added until it was. But you go back in the Old Testament, you see quite a few names with the J. Just show you how ignorant they are. Now the New Testament will add a century later by the Roman church. Can't fault, the guy ain't gonna fault us for that. For that. There's a hearsay. The Bible don't say that. God can't fault us back for believing in his word. Y'all want to say the wrong, y'all want to give all type of excuses and whatnot to, to help y'all call when you get caught up in a lie, then that's on y'all. But we all know the Hebrews, they, they going to fight, fight, fight. When those who get back, they going to fight. They gonna, this is where they go back in the history. Well, the, the New Testament was added by the Roman Catholic Church. That's a lie. Prove it. Give a Bible. I believe the Bible. I believe the apostles. Unless y'all can prove different with the Bible, then you probably need to shut your mouth and go home. Quit going out there harassing people.